it is formed by convergence of two major veins of abdomen one is splenic vein which is coming from left behind pancreas this is splenic vein and other vein which is tributary of portal vein is superior mesenteric vein inferior mesenteric vein drains in splenic vein this is inferior mesenteric vein it drains in this splenic vein it joins splenic vein here and convergence of splenic and superior mesenteric vein this is superior mesenteric vein forms portal vein this is portal vein relations of portal vein in porta hepatis or right through margin of lesser omentum this is common bile duct and it is formed by two ducts this is cystic duct coming from this gallbladder this is cystic duct and hepatic duct there are two hepatic ducts right and left right and left hepatic duct convert to form common hepatic duct which forms bile duct with cystic duct this is common bile duct it is right and anterior in porta hepatis or right free margin of lesser omentum now this is celiac tract you can see celiac tract it is splenic artery branch of celiac tract this is left gastric smallest artery of celiac tract and this is common hepatic artery here it will give a branch i think it is not here which is right gastric artery artery i think uh, uh, right gastric artery has been removed with stomach this is proper hepatic artery proper hepatic artery this is proper hepatic artery and it divides in right and left hepatic artery to supply the right and left lobes of liver this is gastroduodenal artery uh, as the name indicates it supplies stomach duodenum and pancreas this is gastroduodenal artery it gives artery on greater curvature of stomach known as right gastroepiploic artery which anastomoses with left gastroepiploic artery which is a branch of splenic artery now you can see this gastroduodenal artery it is coming behind the neck of pancreas in relation of portal vein when you will see the relation of portal vein anterior relation then neck of pancreas and gastroduodenal artery in its left part and then bile duct bile duct in its right part now i am removing pancreas from its side now you can see the portal vein having 8 cm length this distance from formation of pancreas to liver known liver as proper right. portal vein proper extra hepatic portal vein and it courses 8 cm here and diameter of portal vein is 2 cm now i am inserting my finger in gastro epiploic foramen epiploic foramen or known as foramen of winslow and my finger is coming out in this empty space which is known as lesser sac lesser sac here you can see these are fibers of lesser omentum now this is lesser sac the relations of epiploic foramen anterior relations are portal vein in posterior in right common bile duct and in left hepatic artery the poster relation you can see here you can see here this is inferior vena cava this is inferior vena cava it is poster relation of gast epiploic foramen and inferior relation of epiploic foramen is duodenum first part of duodenum here you can see the first part of duodenum relation this is first part of duodenum this is first part of duodenum and superior relation is liver so it is gastro this is epiploic foramen it connects greater sac whole cavity is known as greater sac and this small space is known as lesser sac